Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be playing Lost City, custom dungeon for Gurmak 2, uh, by a Dragoron. In search of a legendary elixir of youth, you hired a ship and set sail to the unknown waters of the Storm Sea. Uh, open world adventure for a new party. 20 plus levels, one of which is some sort of a town. <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds good. Um, lots of secrets, puzzles and bosses. Two different endings, two secret ways to win. Sounds good. Let's do it. If I don't create characters, do I get the default? Oh boy, okay, so choices. Um, let's go with hard and create characters. That sounds like fun. Sure. Uh, not going to check any of those boxes. Apply. I don't believe I've ever actually created a party in this game, except, except when I was doing that one uh, Viper Ritz speedrun. All right, let me spend some time here. Okay, I think I have a party. I spent like 20 minutes on this, probably way more effort than I should have. Uh, trying to trying to really optimize, I guess, but I don't know what I'm optimizing for, so I'm just, just trying to get a really good team of generalists, basically. So I'm going to try some new classes I haven't tried before. Uh, I have a battle mage back here and a knight up here. Uh, and I haven't played a rogue in this game yet. Uh, Barbarian's pretty similar. All right, so I have Baffin. Uh, I just rolled the random name generator a few times until I got something that sounded okay. Uh, you're a lizard man, knight. So what's a knight? Uh, wielding armor, using the shield. So, right, basically I have a, um, a tank here, a bruiser, a rogue type, and a wizard. Uh, I wanted to try battle mage just to see how it's different from wizard. Probably not all that different. Um, just for something new. Anyway, endure elements, uh, resist all. all right, so resistances, protection, heavy weapons, armor. Sounds good. Uh, this guy's built very similarly to the Mulrag you would get in the default party. Uh, Barbarian, Minotaur, um, strength, dexterity, a little bit of willpower. So I tried to uh, make up for some of the weaknesses that that character had by giving him some extra accuracy, some more dexterity. Uh, Headhunter seems good, so I can take advantage of skulls if I find any of those. Martial training. More accuracy for him. So he shouldn't miss. I have 17 on this one. Only 8 accuracy here, so this could become a problem. Uh, I hope not, but you'll be doing most of the front row damage, I think. Heavy weapons, accuracy. Sounds good. Uh, Alright, so Kefo, Rattling, Rogue. I'm opting not to put an alchemist in the party. I'd kind of like to have one, because I do like herbs to reproduce themselves. I'm gonna hope... The game's just balanced so that I don't need that. Uh, a lot of guesswork involved here. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to start over and make a new party. Uh, it's unlikely to be the case. Uh, mutation just sounds like a good idea. It's a rattling only ability. Uh, extra stats. Sounds good. Martial training, more accuracy. Um, is this really a good idea? So here are my options. Is there anything that sounds better than that? I don't usually care about resistances all that much unless I can get a whole bunch like I did with um, whatever that first character's name is. Um, don't care that much about defensive attributes for back row party members. I do a tiny bit, but not not a huge amount. Uh, right, martial training, that's what I chose, right? I think. Yeah, for accuracy. Yeah, I don't think any of those look particularly more appealing. Yep. That's the one. Alright, so alchemy, accuracy. I haven't given you any weapon skills. I'm not sure if I can keep a skill point and just start and, like, spend it on whatever. I was thinking maybe I wouldn't put this here and just uh, put a skill point into whatever the first type of weapon I find that would be appropriate for this type, but I'll just, I'll just do this. Uh, Alright, and then harpy, insectoid, battle mage. Um, battle mage does this. Uh, weight of equipped armor is reduced by 50%. That sounds nice. Uh, right. Anyway, so quick. Cooldown decreased. Aura, sure. Extra energy for casting. I gave you some... As much willpower as I could, and then somewhat vitality and a little bit of dexterity, because it's useful for everybody. Starting with fire magic, because that's just a really good starting, uh, starting magic school. Alright, let's start. See what I'm in for. I did put the game on hard, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm someplace. There's a ladder. Wait, what? 
Okay, that was the top of the ladder and I fell off when I came there. That's funny. If I fire burst this... Okay, cool. Let's punch some barrels. There we go, I found a thing. Food and clothing. And lockpicks, very nice. And a torch, that's also useful. Alright, so how do I play this game? I'm going to put a torch on your offhand. Um, in case I need light. Nobody's hungry yet, because I just started. Alright, so who... Whoops. Uh, who needs protection? Everybody. Uh, who needs it more? You do, because you have no natural armor. Okay. There's a letter. My dear passengers, oh boy, spelling's going to be a thing. <laughs> in case that our journey went not as well as planned, I'm decided to strip you of your possessions. You will die soon anyway, when I need some coin to repair my ship and replenish supplies. I wish you a speedy and not very painful death. Sincerely yours, Captain. <laughs> Alright, so somebody who doesn't like us much brought us here, I guess. Okay, what's that, a gear key? I have, I just noticed, my textures on... Uh, medium. I want them on high. I'm gonna hope that this doesn't crash like uh, I have the Atlantis did uh, when I did that. I'll leave it high for now. Uh, if crashes are a problem, I can change it back. But I definitely like to see higher resolution textures. Oh yeah, this takes a moment, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. That wasn't too long. Uh, just in case, let me go ahead and save, because um, I don't want to lose all the work I put in uh, to creating this new party. Okay. Good. I should have done that before I changed that, just in case it did crash. Anyway. So, uh, got no weapons, got only a little bit of armor. That's technically a weapon, sort of. Can't chop that grass. Okay, so where... How do I get to the map? Like this. Lost Shore. Okay. Fire burst. Yep, I know how to do that. I will keep this just in case I need to weigh down a pressure plate or something. Peasant's cap. Okay, armor goes to you for now. Anything to see here? Another rock. Good. I like those. Gonna check the boundaries of the water. I can get somewhere. I'm a rock collector. Good. Oh, hi, turtle. Let's fight. Why aren't you punching? I'm clicking. I guess I'm not clicking well enough. Okay, that was easy. Alright, so I happen to know that a lizard man's favorite food is eggs. Uh, right, one of the reasons I chose non-human party members, uh, other than just the traits, and because, you know, they're more interesting, uh, was that... Uh, everybody else other than Minotaur gets a favorite food, so I can get stat bonuses from eating certain things. So Rattling is cheese, uh, Insectoid is fruit, I believe, and Lizard Man is eggs. So I'll definitely be feeding those to specific people. Hi, turtle. So far, all of the uh, modules I've played for this game have started on a beach. That's just the way this game starts. So I did put this on hard, right? Maybe I just built my party really well and... Or I'm playing really well. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> and, uh... Combat's no problem. Yeah, it's the mage doing all the damage. That was like... Getting 30s, maybe these are getting single digit, single digit damage numbers. More eggs for my lizard. What's your lizard's, my lizard's name? Baffin. I'll learn these people's names eventually. Baffin, Harak, Kefo, and Harpy. Okay. The random name generator sometimes gave me first and last name, but I found that I preferred just the single word ones. So I kept rolling until it gave me one of those that sounded good. Okay, I see a weapon. Is that a hand axe? Okay, nice. Uh, that's a light weapon, right? It is. Who could benefit more from that? 
3 to 6, 7 to 20, 6 to 12, 10 to 26. Uh, you, I think? Not sure how that math works out exactly, but I'm sure I'll find a second one for the other front dude. Where am I? Just kind of lost in the woods. I keep pressing M to look at the map, forgetting that that's not how you do it in this game. Uh, did I see a... Yes, I did see a warg. Okay, warg is a slightly more formidable opponent than a turtle. So I should watch out for that. Uh, can he get to me? Pr yes, definitely. Let's just not disturb him for now. Uh oh I forgot that could happen. So you seem to be absorbing most of the hits. I say that and am immediately proven wrong. Never mind. Okay, I think I found a zone boundary. Ooh, a cemetery. I see. Burial grounds. Alright, so this is a place I could go. I am not ready to fight those. Let's see. Description said this was open world, so I can choose where I want to go. Am I ready to fight a warg? Maybe if I rest a bit... I'll probably be okay. Quick save because I can. That didn't take too long. Uh oh, you've seen me. I guess I got too close. It's just a single ordinary Fjeldwarg, so that's not too much of a problem. Still should take it seriously since I just started the game. Let's see, I do have somebody who owns a torch. Or at least picked it up off the ground. I guess that's enough for ownership in this world. Good. Supplies. Cudgel can go to you, I guess. There, it requires heavy weapons too, but that's for just the bash. I can I can use it just fine without that. Alright. Uh, light armor. Evasion without light armor proficiency. Who's getting armor? It would be you. Okay, do I want to take the evasion penalty? Probably not yet. Let's see, how much protection is that? Not enough to be worth it. Alright, so if I level up armor, that'll go on you. I can't level any skill past one point um, on character creation, so I couldn't have gotten to armor two right away if I wanted to. What did I just pick up? A bag. Potion. Good. Uh, healing potions should go on front party members, probably... Darts. Throwing weapon. Nice. That's for you. Why am I cutting down those bushes? That doesn't do anything for me. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. Don't know what I'm doing other than just... Oops. Let's put that over there so I don't do that again. Just exploring for now. Collecting stuff. Why am I throwing a rock? Okay, again, let's switch that so I stop doing the wrong thing. Nice. You're injured. That's unfortunate. What kind of injury? Chest. Hmm. I don't yet know of the location of a crystal of life. Gonna have to find one of those if I want to fix stuff like that. Okay, torn breaches. Those are for you, I guess. That fresh shipwreck was very bountiful. Bountiful. <laughs> I looted more than I can carry, so I've buried some stuff deep in the forest. Felled a few trees to mark the spot. We'll return there later. Okay. So there's probably a spot in the forest where something is buried, and I'll find a shovel and be able to dig it up. Look for felled trees. I keep pressing M, and it's still not working. <laughs> I mean, forest's all around me. It's not necessarily in this spot right here. I see no tree stumps or otherwise cut down trees, so I don't think I know where that location is yet. Uh, here's one, but that's not a few. It's just one. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open for that spot. I saw a mushroom. Where's that mushroom? There's that mushroom. It's, I, I can't see it at all from here. There it is. <laughs> People 
are starting to get hungry already. That happened very quickly. Um, you're already ready for one of these. Uh, yeah, all, all eggs get saved for you. Hang on, don't you have reduced food consumption? Somewhere? No, I guess not. Oh yeah, I was considering giving you endurance because it comes with increased carrying capacity. Uh, but I guess I decided not to in favor of Aura. Because carrying capacity can be an issue, I've found. Um, okay, here's the spot. Uh, treasure probably buried here. Okay. So let's find a shovel. So I think I'm done with everything until I want to go to burial grounds, right? Mm -hmm. Everything on this side, that is. Wasn't anything else to see in the... Well, there might be something to see in the water. What's this spot here? It's nothing. It's one of those... Wait, I can't get to that? No, because this doesn't look solid on the map, but it actually is. That's one of those watcher statues, I think. Hang on, I see etherweed. I almost didn't see it. Okay, are you holding a torch currently? You are. Let's not... Well, it's pretty dark without it. It's not a waste if I actually am using it for stuff. That's a branch. I could have picked that up earlier. Doesn't do me much good now, though. I saw you. <laughs> Distinctive stone that's different from the rest. Alright, so that's all of the water. Nothing else to see here that I can tell, at least. I see you, though. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, that is. <laughs> it didn't want to click at first. Is that anything? Yes. Sandals. Sandals for you. Torch for you. It may have been sitting in the ocean, but I'm sure it'll still ignite just fine. Oh, hi, turtle. I almost didn't see you. You didn't see me, and you still haven't. So I have no health regeneration on one of my front party members. That's kind of bad. I should consider drinking that potion uh, in favor of just leaving it and, and dying. Like, ideally, I'd like to find a crystal of life, but that might not happen anytime super soon. Next time uh, combat is coming, like now, well... Next time combat's coming with anything tougher than a tortoise, I'll consider the potion. Yeah, 66. Mage is doing most of the damage here. So if I wanted to optimize experience, I'd want everybody else to get a hit in first before uh, Mage did their thing. Scroll of Shock. Right, don't have any air magic. Careful. Careful. And you probably don't have energy for that. That's what I thought. That's fine. Loincloth. That one reduces willpower. I don't think... Well, it'd be okay for Kefo, I think. Because willpower doesn't do her any good, right? I think. Uh, Bone Club. What are you? 2 to 6 plus strength. Probably not something I want. Nope. More eggs. Oh, that doesn't actually hit the uh, hit the grass. Rocks do, don't they? But not darts. I mean, partially makes sense. Hmm. Okay, so that might be a crystal shard of healing. I believe that's what that looks like. Aha. And I think I see how to get it. So remember these pressure plate holding things I was carrying. It's not quite what I expected to happen, but it'll do. Oh, hey, I got experience. Nice. That's a blue gem. That's not a crystal shard of healing at all. Yeah, I thought it didn't look quite right. Okay. 
Don't really need that, but I guess I'll take it. This seems pretty cool so far. Poison Cloud. Uh, I hear a um, Zarchton. Yep, I sure do. Okay, so this is the combat I was talking about that's a little too dangerous to go into with a chest injury. Wait, that was, I thought, I misinterpreted the terrain. Those things are really small. And they do that, and that's obnoxious, I remember. But I know how to manipulate things. If I step here, you'll step back. Yep. <laughs> I forgot you could do that, though. Good to know. Horn fruit. Okay, that's a food for you. You're not hungry yet, though. I like the way this is all structured. This feels very, um... Seems very, uh... Boy, what am I trying to say? I don't know. <laughs> uh... It's an open world that has just the right amount of stuff to fight spread out in just the right way that it feels good. I'm not getting overwhelmed, but there's there's stuff to do everywhere. I hear something to my right. Watch out for twigrits. Yep, there's one. That's probably what I heard. I'd like you to participate. There we go. Everybody levels up at once. Perfect. KFO's mutations doing a thing. Okay, so everybody gets skill points. I don't know what I want to spend those on, and that's a lot to decide on all at the same time. So maybe I'll defer that decision for a moment. Ooh, a rapier. Nice. Uh, it requires light weapons one to use at all. Not so nice. I didn't give anybody light weapons. Well, I mean, I could give you some of that. It's an option, but I think it's a bad option, because heavy weapons have tended to be just plain better for uh, front party members. What I'd rather do is give you another point in accuracy, have you wield this, and be able to attack from the back row. I thought I heard something sneaking up on me, but I think it was just that sound. <laughs> Uh, wait, but you need light weapons. Okay, so I can't actually do that yet. Alright, so I know what your next uh, level is going to be. Because, yeah, I do want you to be a melee attacker from the back. Uh, shirt. Nobody has a shirt. You do now. And a shield. You're a knight. You should get the shield, probably. Cool. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to do with level ups right now? I could... Improve my fire magic, or... Let's see... Fireball, I believe, takes fire and air magic. So I'm going to have to get a point in air magic anyway. And having two different... Um, well, it's a trade-off. I could have more f powerful fire bursts. Yeah, I'd rather actually have more powerful fire bursts than uh, a second elemental spell. Because, like, what resists fire? Um, the... Uh, Fire elementals do, but I'm not going to be encountering those for a while, surely. Oh yeah, and you wanted to point an armor, I believe. That was what it was. I did have a thing for you. Because now you can wear this. There we go. Now you have a shirt too. I thought I had seen one before. Whoa. Oops, I missed. I almost missed again. This guy's a little tougher than the other stuff around. Yeah, I guess in this game you don't encounter these for a little while after the after the start. In the first game they're like the, the second enemy you ever encounter, but in this one they're slightly later, at least in the main campaign. Alright, how's food doing? It's okay except for you. I have no cheese yet. You can eat a mushroom. And do you want to level up? Um... Probably heavy weapons. That sounds pretty sensible. Let's do it. Wait, did I see... I did. 
Another one for my collection. Another one for my collection is there, too. Okay, so those darts do hit um, some bushes, but not all of them. A sling. Okay, cool. That lets me... Is that more powerful that... Wait. I'm missing a dart. Hmm. I wonder where that went. Well, um, I think... Oh, you're the wrong one. I think the sling with a rock is better than throwing a dart anyway. It is. Okay. So that's your main weapon for the moment. What time is it? I don't have a uh, clock, and I can't really see the s sky from here. So yeah, didn't I throw a dart at something and miss right in this area somewhere? I don't know, it doesn't matter that much. I don't really need them. That sling has a long cooldown on it. Whoops. Is there something down there? No, just a lot of ground clutter. Nothing I can pick up. A lot of lockpicks. I'm being well supplied on lockpicks so far. Darts, in case I want any of those. Um, in case I do want any of those for some reason, I'll put them here. Torch is getting kind of flickery. I'd like the sun to come up. If it goes out entirely, I'll probably just nap until dawn. I don't want to waste my last torch on something I could technically sleep through. I see a Zarchton. That's fine. I can deal with him. No ranged spells available to me yet. I think Fireball is going to be the first one of those I could get. Or uh, Ice Shards, technically, but I'd have to go into Water Magic for that. As much as I love uh, Frostbolt... I feel like I've... I mean, I've used it in the last... Um, basically, I feel like I use it too much, so I should try something else, just for variety. Um, but if I get enough... Old Bridge, look out for trolls! Oh boy, trolls! That's, um... That sounds like something that might be a tougher fight than I'm ready for. Although... Let's see, is there a troll in this game? I know there's an ogre. That's not the same thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to come back here just in case I somehow forget. Just want to check my immediate surroundings first before I go to uh, something that seems significant like that. That glowy thing had poison cloud scroll on it. So whatever this central structure is, that's where I am. That's locked with that. And is that? That's almost everything. Horned fruit. A chest. Neat. Peasant's tunic. Uh, protection plus two. That's better than this. Gear key. Nice. I can go into whatever that place is. Another blue gem. So I have two of those now. I drank a healing potion, but now I have another one. I'm loading all of my stuff onto you. I shouldn't do that. Let me just redistribute slightly. Okay, definitely want to use this key to see what it unlocks. Um, there's no way to go here. Okay, then that's the end of the road. So it's troll bridge or open that door. I want to open that door. This way. Both ways. Either way works. Oh, horned fruit. I missed you. It fell off of that bush. <laughs> can I go through that? I can. Let's just save here. Just for safety. Oh, it's a dungeon. Okay. I guess that makes sense. What else could be in a, in a building this small? Can I rip tapestries? No. Flintlock. Alright, if I wanted to use a firearm, that's where it is. Nobody has any firearms skill. I should almost just leave this here. I don't expect to use them. I don't really like them in this game. Okay, uh, so two different possible ways to go. I have a dungeon here. 
Oh, that's a crab. <laughs> there's a dungeon here of some sort, and there's a troll bridge over here. And, oh right, three ways to go. There's also the burial grounds. Alright, well, I'll pick one of those places next time and go see what's... Oh, hang on. Hold on, hold on. Need to check something in the water. Is that a way I can go? That's not because that's in the way. And that's not because this is in the way. Okay, so it's not actually. I think I've seen everything here because there's no way to around this. Yep, okay. I've seen everything. Torch went out. Um, I'll just... I don't know if there's going to be any use for a burned out torch. I'll just leave it here. And then if you need light, that's where it is. Alright, uh, see you next time to probably go in here.